Okay, we'll go ahead and call this regular city council meeting to order. And for tonight's invocation, we have Pastor Dick Walmsley of the Taylorville Christian Church. That's right. God, our Father in heaven, we uh, thank you for the privilege that we have of being able to invoke your presence among us here tonight. And uh, for your wisdom as well, to, uh, to help in the process of decision making for the well-being of the citizens of Taylorville. Thank you also, Father, for the men and women who work in various departments, and for the police officers and firefighters and other emergency personnel who are on duty 24-7. Thank you, God, for their willingness and their commitment to that. Also, Father, we, uh, we pray tonight for those in uh, Oklahoma who are suffering the results of some terrible tornadoes. We pray for, your, for the responders there to, to be able to help those who have great need. And also, God, those who will come later to, uh, to help them through the difficult times. We pray, God, as we uh, as we look to the future, that we'll always be trusting you, allowing you to work in your time, and also, Father, to uh, to be united as one tonight, working toward making Taylorville a great place to live. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Roll call, please. Larry Budd. Here. Sean Bertle. Here. Sonny Dorton. Here. Rob Keverly. Here. Bruce Jones. Here. Ray Coons. Here. Mark Boda. Here. Earl Walters. Here. All eight aldermen present. First, we have a motion to utilize the omnibus Second. vote for approval of the minutes of the previous meetings listed on tonight's Here's agenda the under the title <laughs> Omnibus Vote Designation. Alderman Dorchinez, second by Alderman Jones. Discussion or comment? Hearing none, roll call. Sean Bertle. Yes. Sonny Dorchinez. Yes. Rob Heverly. Yes. Bruce Jones. Yes. Ray Coons. Yes. Mark Boda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Larry Budd. Yes. Motion passes 8 to 0. Okay, uh, you can, I'll let you read for yourself the uh, the minutes there. We've got the minutes of uh, let's see, about nine meetings. And I would entertain a motion to approve those minutes as listed. <coughs> second. Okay, second by Armand Bertel. Discussion or comments? Hearing none, roll call. Ronnie Dorchinez? Yes. Rob Keverly? Yes. Bruce Jones? Yes. Ray Coons? Yes. Martin Boda? Yes. Earl Walters? Yes. Larry Budd? Yes. Sean Bertel? Yes. Motion passes 8 to 0. Okay, moving on to discussions and our motions to approve, adopt, and or deny, and or table, and or amend, and or refer to an appropriate committee in whole or in part the following listed motions, ordinances, or resolutions. Before we get started here, I would uh, would like to say that, you know, yesterday afternoon I had the pleasure of uh, attending a wonderful uh, recognition ceremony held in honor of Pastor Walmsley at the Table Christian Church. And uh, it was very apparent uh, while I sit there, that he is a very well-respected man within this community, and very loved uh, a member of his uh, uh, of his church, and he's done a wonderful job for the city and for his church. And so I'd like to take a minute tonight just to officially recognize Dick for everything he's done for the city over the years, and make a presentation. Dick, if you would just kind of meet me out front here, and have a plaque to present to you. Clark says, in recognition of his years of service to this community, providing guidance not only to parishioners of this church, but to all the residents of this city, and to thank him for the countless hours of civic service that he has given in support of a wide variety of charitable projects and causes. He did that plaque to G. Richard Walmsley, Sr. Okay, moving on. False alarm. Toast at the high rise. Okay. Toast at the high rise. All right. <laughs> uh, you know, many Americans celebrate Armed Forces Day annually on the uh, third Saturday of May. 
Now, that would have been this past Saturday, uh, and I'm ashamed to admit that I myself was not even aware of it. Uh, like many, many citizens of this country, I'm, I'm guilty of taking for granted the tremendous sacrifices that our young men and women serving in the military make for us. Well, thank goodness there are some people out there that don't take their service for granted. And tonight I'd like to honor one young lady who has taken it upon herself to do what she can to ensure that these men and women are not forgotten. Rebecca Wiggins, Wiggins would you please stand? Can you come forward with your, is your mother here? Yeah. I've got a proclamation for you. <laughs> this proclamation says, whereas Rebecca Wiggins has worked diligently for years sending care packages and letters to our soldiers stationed overseas, and whereas Rebecca has worked with her mother, Kate ha Hames, to establish the organization known as Soldiers Angels, a volunteer-led nonprofit organization with the mission to provide aid and comfort to men and women of the United States Army, Marines, Navy, <coughs> Air Force, Coast Guard and their families, and whereas in conjunction with the Soldiers Angels organization, Rebecca has adopted 25 soldiers over the past four years, providing all of them with the peace of mind that comes from knowing that they are not forgotten and that someone cares about them. And whereas Rebecca has raised $7,000 over the past year for Project Valier, Valier IT, uh, which provides much needed technology and voice, such as voice activated laptops to soldiers who have been wounded. And whereas Rebecca continues to support our soldiers by educating others about their needs by speaking and giving multimedia presentation to local organizations and groups. And whereas Rebecca has made the citizens of Taylorville proud by be cho being chosen as the American Red Cross 2013 Youth Hero. Now therefore, I, Greg Brunson, Mayor of the City of Taylorville, do hereby proclaim May 20th, 2013 as Rebecca Wiggins Day in the city of Taylorville, Illinois. I urge all citizens to offer their sincere thanks for the tremendous job she has done supporting our uh, soldiers. Rebecca, thank you so much. Thank you. Quick thank you. I, I don't know if you folks have noticed it yet. He's still, it's still a process in, in the work, but uh, Mr. Earl Walters has been working like crazy uh, since last Friday and all day today trying to re-landscape the outside of the municipal building. I mean, he's had his shovel out there in his hand every time I drive by. <laughs> he's just sweating like crazy. And if it had not been for me feeling so poorly, and of course, my allergy to physical labor. I've been out there helping. <laughs> but uh, I, I do want to thank you for that. <laughs> okay, we've got the important stuff over. Uh, now we've got an oath of office for uh, Ernie Dorchinez. So <laughs> I'd ask Pam Peabody to please uh, help us with that. Do we get a vote on that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of all the men of war three according to the best of your ability? Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, moving on. I'm proud to say that the city of Taylorville now has two new firemen, and I'd ask the city clerk to help me swearing them in. We'll start off with the new fireman, Kirk Rainey. Kirk, would you come up with your family or whoever you'd like? Heather Rainey. 
Who this honor is worth that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of a president according to the best of your ability. Thank you. Now I'd ask a uh, new fireman, Alfred Fox, to come forward with his family. We solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of a fireman according to the best of your ability. Okay, moving on, we've got some uh, appointments yeah, that have to be made, you know. and uh, yeah. there'll be a lot of them over the next few meetings, but we start with uh, four of them uh, tonight. Uh, first of all, I'd like to ask the alderman, I'd entertain a motion to approve my appointment of Jackie Nation to a two-year term on the Fire Pension Board. Moved, John. Second. Alderman Walters, second by Alderman Heberlein. Discussion or comments? Hearing none, roll call. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, got, I got it. Bob Heverly. Yes. Bruce Jones. Yes. Ray Coons. Yes. Martin Voda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Larry Budd. Yes. John Bertle. Yes. Ernie Dortonance. Yes. Okay. Motion passes eight to zero. Yeah, you're going to have to swear them in one at a time. You're going to swear them in one at a time? You're going to cover four? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of fun watching them run up and down. Right? You solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and you will faithfully discharge the duties of a member of the Firefighters Pension Board according to the best of your ability. Okay. okay, moving on. Now, Terry France is retired but we're not going to let her get away with that. So <laughs> I would entertain a motion to approve my appointment of Terry France to the Police Pension Board for a term of two years and the Library Board for oh, a term of two years. Alderman Bertel? Second. Second, Second Alderman Coons. Sure. Discussion or comment? Hearing none, roll call. Rob Heverling? Yes. Bruce Jones? Yes. Ray Coons? Yes. Martin Voda? Yes. Earl Walters? Yes. Um, Larry Budd? Yes. Sean Bertel? Yes. Ernie yes. Motion passes eight to zero. Terry? Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of a member of the Police Pension Board and the Table Library Board to which you were appointed according to the best of your ability? I will. Yeah. I would now entertain a motion to approve my appointment of uh, Barbara Grabner Kearns to the tree board for a three year term. So Alderman Bertel? Second. Second by who? Heberlin. Alderman Heberlin. Okay. Discussion or comment? Hearing none, roll call. Ray Coons? Yes. Martin Boda? Yes. Earl Walters? Yes. Larry Budd? Yes. Sean Bertel? Yes. Ray Dortonance? Yes. Rob Heberlin? Yes. Bruce Jones? Yes. Motion passes 8 to 0. Okay, moving on, we have a resolution. Mm -hmm. Regarding the resurfacing of Pawnee Street and Cherokee Street. Make that motion, Your Honor. Okay, Alderman Walters. Can you get a second by Alderman Kuntz? Discussion or comment? Hearing none, roll call. Martin Boda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Larry Bell. Present. Sean Burrell. Yes. Ernie Dortonez. Yes. Rob Heverling. Yes. 
Ms. Jones? Yes. Ray Coons? Yes. Motion passes eight to zero with a present. I'm glad it's present. <laughs> it's going right in front of my house. <laughs> I'm going to take a hit for this oh, one. Oh, no. Yeah. Already. Yeah. All right. Let's be nice. Uh, Mr. Hauser. Okay. The plan commission's here, so we'd ask Mr. Hauser to please address the council. Your Honor, the, uh, the shaving plan is the only commission uh, was uh, privileged to hear uh, a, re a rezoning request from the uh, uh, Kirby family, or Gloria and Joe Kirby, to rezone uh, from residential R1 to commercial C1, uh, property located at 300 North Elevator Street, a.k.a. the uh, West School property in Taylorville. Um, there were a lot of comments on both sides, questions, good questions by the alderman this time. Thank you very much. And, uh, the, uh, we're trying. After, <laughs> after a whole lot of discussion, uh, the uh, Planning and Zoning Commission chose to recommend to the, uh, uh, the Board of Aldermen uh, a vote to table this mm -hmm. uh, issue for a suitable time. Uh, to, uh, to give the uh, uh, Kirby's an opportunity to revise uh, their submission and request, uh, which would be made at a later date to the, once again, to the planning and design commission. It's something which has a tendency to conform a little more with some of the requests by the, uh, uh, by the neighbors. Okay. Things like the work for both parties, we hope it does get some stuff. Mm -hmm. I would ask the uh, city attorney a question on this. Uh, they've got a motion to table, so do we just not take action? We not take action. Just not take action at this point. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, the next thing on our agenda was a consideration of a, uh, of a suggestion or recommendation by the ordinance committee uh, to uh, revise the, uh, the lock bits uh, in the R2 districts. Uh, the unanimous vote was taken to uh, recommend uh, to you that uh, the planning is on commission uh, Okay. All right. With that said, I'd entertain a motion. I would like to make a motion we accept the planning commission's recommendation. Second. Second, Alderman Dorchinez. Discussion or comment? We just want comment. Go ahead. Uh, I'd like to thank George Calvert. Um, he, uh, I'll tell you what. For the guy that takes a, a lot of guff in this town, he sure does a good job at what he does. And he's always continually looking out for, he's always continually looking out for the, the citizens and the council as a whole. Um, so I'd just like to give a shout out to George tonight. Good job, George. Good job. Uh, it, it looks like that uh, he gets so much criticism, he didn't have, accept a pat on the back. <laughs> So you're saying you sow what you reap? Is that what you're saying? Okay. All right. All right. Any other comments? Roll call, please. Earl Walters. Yes. Larry Budd. Yes. Tom Burrell. Yes. Ernie Dorchinette. Yes. Rock Heverly. Yes. Bruce Jones. Yes. Blake Goose. Yes. Mark Voda. Yes. Motion passes eight to zero. Well, that, was the, uh, that was the only things the only things in my eyes that day. Mm -hmm. I think it was. Right. We thank all of you for the good job you've done for us. Thank you. Next, we have a motion to close Cherokee Street going south from Gandhi Street to 2nd Street and to close 1st Street at Gandhi Street from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. for the Memorial Day services on Monday, May 27, 2013. Second. Walters, second by Alderman Bertle. Go ahead with your comment, Alderman Walters. Comment, uh, uh, gentlemen. Uh, this was brought to our attention. I had the chairman of the street search committee too late to put it on my agenda. So that's when I asked the uh, mayor and city clerk to go ahead and put it on the council agenda. This is something that we do every year for the uh, activities that we have for that uh, particular holiday. Okay. Any other comments? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. Okay, next I'd entertain a motion to approve my appointment of Mike Cruz as the acting fire chief. Now this will be effective May 13th, 2013 at a salary of $58,000. $918.34. A motion Second. by Alderman Dorchinez. Second, Second by Alderman <laughs> Bertle. Discussion or comments? Hearing none, roll call. Mary Bud. Yes. John Bertle. Yes. Ernie Dorchinez. Yes. Rock Heverly. Yes. Bruce Jones. Yes. Ray Coons. Yes. Martin Voda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. 
Motion passes eight to zero. Okay. I think that brings us to city attorney updates. Mr. Romano, would you like to address the council? Uh, gentlemen, just give you a brief update on the pending lawsuit from Seabus Builders against the city. Uh, I have been in uh, contact since we last spoke at uh, uh, I have now received the email documents. If you recall, uh, your, your insurance carrier, Travelers, has appointed counsel uh, to represent the city in this matter. In a discussion with that particular attorney, I suggested that it would not be necessary. I did not think that I actually participated in uh, enter my appearance in that case on behalf of the city to keep the cost down. He agreed with that. So there's been an order entered by the judge that substituted your former city attorney and replaced it by Howard Small, the attorney has been retained by uh, your company. Uh, they've also, the motions that were filed, uh, you don't have to file any responsive pleadings until June 28th. And uh, the, uh, the May 30th setting, that was where the court would get together and set a scheduling conference, if you will, how this case is going to proceed time-wise, that has been postponed indefinitely. The reason being is that I think your counsel uh, and the opposing counsel on your side are trying to make an effort to try to see if there's any way to resolve this case short of actually going to trial. I've been, uh, the mayor and I have been in conversation with him, providing some documentation for their assistance uh, for that. And, and so that's all a matter of public record, what I'm telling you here now. And uh, I've been assured by counsel that as things progress, I will be getting email transmissions from him under attorney-client privilege. I will forward those as an attorney-client privilege to the mayor. And they can be disseminated to uh, you folks as well to keep you up to date. So uh, the other matter I want to briefly discuss is that there was a number of issues that were good issues, good questions raised at the committee level about some things that you might want me to look at. I'll be happy to do that. I would suggest that maybe the mayor could give me some direction of what items that you want me to do, and then I'll go from there at your direction. Okay? And that's all I have today. Okay. Any questions or comments for the city attorney? Uh, just a comment, Sean. Alderman Walters. Uh, I'd like to welcome uh, city attorney Rocky Morrow back on board. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anyone else? Okay, moving on to mayor updates. Uh, I, I put out to the uh, alderman there, I, I got a letter today, and actually I'd heard it on the news last week, uh, House Bill 62, and uh, it's just being uh, put through the legislator, or, or trying to be put through the legislator. And basically what this does is it, uh, if you have a prison within your municipality, you do not get to count the inmates for your head count for census purposes and, and uh, the benefit you would receive from that headcount. It hasn't completely passed yet, but uh, the letter is uh, asking us to, to contact uh, our representatives and, and ask them to vote against this. Um, in this letter, it basically just says it's a, it's, it's a grab by Cook County, and uh, I can see why they would jump to that conclusion, and uh, it's probably <laughs> a correct one. So I just bring that to your attention. Alderman Dorchinez. I think we caused all this problem. I think you probably did, <laughs> Alderman Dorchinez. <laughs> Mr. I think Huntley. You, did. <laughs> you know Mr. Huntley? Ed Huntley? <laughs> <laughs> I think they've nicknamed this the Dorchinez Bill. Yeah, it could be. It could right. be. Stop him in at some way. All right. Uh, I think I know I received, and I think several aldermen also received a very nice thank you card mm -hmm. from the 11 6 Student Ministries at the Calvary Baptist Church. And I'll just quickly read mine. It says, Dear Mr. Brotherton, you do not have uh, this, you know, you do not have this happen often enough, but thank you for your hard work and dedication to our community. Your time and service towards helping others is greatly appreciated. We thank you again for making our community a better place to live. And so that, it is nice to get that uh, every once in a while. So yes. I'm sure the other aldermen feel the same way. And Ernie, the fact you didn't get one should tell you something. <laughs> okay. I, I framed mine. <laughs> the only other thing I have is just to, uh, uh, to let people know, uh, on June Sunday, June the 9th, uh, the Community Garden at the Davis Memorial Church is having kind of an opening day out there from 2 to 4. And so if you get a chance and are doing, <coughs> not doing anything that to Sunday afternoon, that's a good place to stop by and uh, cheer them on for what they've been able to do out there. And uh, I think the whole community will benefit from that uh, as, it, as it moves forward. All right, moving on to committee reports. We have discussions in our motions to approve, adopt, and or deny, and or table, and or amend, and or refer to an appropriate committee in whole or in part the matters regarding the following subject matter, matters discussed at the committee level. And we'll start off with the Finance Committee. Motion to contribute 3000 to the Optimist Club for the 4th of July fireworks display 
with 2,500 coming from the hotel motel tax to help promote tourism, and 50 or 500 coming from the general fund, with an additional assistance from the hotel motel fund, if absolutely necessary, to meet the three-year commitment. Second. Uh, Alderman Budd makes the motion, second by Alderman Jones. Discussion or comments? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Alderman Walters. Uh, again, I apologize, gentlemen, for missing that meeting. It's very rare that I miss a meeting, and I did uh, uh, mention this at the last meeting that was held. I'm a little concerned that uh, we're looking at uh, uh, putting ourselves in line for additional dollars for the next three years. It says it's absolutely necessary. But my concern is that I think the Optimist Club should be at the forefront of getting the donations and the money for this and then come to us. It appears that the way it's worded that uh, it doesn't put a very large incentive on them to collect the money up front. They're going to come back to us and say, well, you need to make up the difference. So I'm really concerned with this gentleman. Thank you. If I might, Mr. Mayor. Alderman there, there is a large onus put on the Optimist Club. If they don't come through in three years, we probably will cease to have mm -hmm. a uh, Fourth of July fireworks. And, but I think that we need to do everything that we can to try to uh, maintain that level of celebration out there. Mm -hmm. But again, if, if uh, the Optimist Club does not come through, perhaps the celebration will be gone after three years. Yeah. Thank you. I think it's one of those difficult things to measure. You know, again, we have something like that, and you never know. There's, you know, we don't know what that brings in. We don't know if that brings in, you know, twenty-five thousand dollars to the community during that weekend. We just don't know. So, uh, I, I certainly think it's a good thing, and I hope somehow we can keep it going. Alderman Burtle. I'd have to agree with Alderman Everyone, you know, we make a lot of decisions up here. We spend a lot of money on things that sometimes the public don't agree with. Sometimes I don't agree with it. Sometimes other Aldermen don't agree with it. And this is something. Like the mayor states, you can't put a dollar a figure on it because if you could, it would be easier to vote on. But I think, as the public as a whole, want to see the fireworks. I think it's a popular mm -hmm. event. I think people come not only from Taylorville but come from other communities to see it. I think this is something that we should spend our hotel motel. It's, mm -hmm. it's a classic example of what you can spend that money on. Uh, so we should spend that money on the fireworks, and hopefully, the onus would be on the Audience Club to put forth their best effort. To, up with the funds that they said that they probably generate. So, Mr. Mayor, Thank you. Alderman just an additional comment on that. We and and we are putting the onus on the Optimist Club, but really, we we, we are challenging the citizens of this community to support mm -hmm. their effort if they want the celebration to continue. Right. So, really, we should be asking them to uh, to pony up some of these these funds. And, and I think you. indirectly, that's exactly what we're doing. Yes, I I, I think we're, we're going to need their help doing that. Uh, I will say, and before we vote here, uh, just to give you some good news, uh, CIMEC, the company that did the electric aggregation for us, uh, they have come forward with a thousand dollar donation towards that purpose, so that, that helps. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, <coughs> let's have a roll call. Sean Bertle. Yes. Bernie Dorchin. Yes. Rob Haverly. Yes. Bruce Jones. Yes. Ray Coots. Yes. Martin Voda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Larry Beck. Yes. Thank you. Motion passes eight to zero. Motion to direct the mayor upon receipt to sign the direct energy contract to lock in the rate for a 24-month term. Second. Second, Alderman Bertle. Discussion or comment? Hearing none, roll call. Bernie Dorchinez. Yes. Bob Heverly. Yes. Bruce Jones. Yes. Ray Coots. Yes. Martin Voda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Larry Budd. Yes. Sean Bertle. Yes. Motion passes 8-0. to zero. Motion to approve the transfer of 50000 from the general fund to the water fund for the repayment of the water fund loan. Second. Second by Alderman Bertle. Discussion or comments on this? I, I would like to make it. Alderman Dorchin has. Um, every time we do this, um, uh, this is big. And uh, if it wasn't for Sean Bertle's oh, brilliant yeah, idea uh -oh. <laughs> to, uh, to do this, um, it wouldn't have to come close to, to what we've reduced that debt to. And eventually it's going to be paid off. And, and uh, so I give kudos to Alderman Thank Bertle and, and I hope to remember to do that every time. I know he doesn't like me to keep telling him, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> anyone else? Roll call, please. Rob Haverly. Yes. Bruce Jones. Yes. Ray Coots. Yes. Martin Voda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Larry Budd. Yes. Sean Bertle. Yes. Ray Dorchinez. Yes. Motion passes 8-0. to zero. <clears throat> Motion to forward the FY 2013-2014 water, safety, police, fire, street, sewer, garbage, and MFT FY 2013-2014 budgets to the city treasurer for further refinement, but <coughs> along with that, a motion, gentlemen, I would like to remove the fire budget from the motion 
and vote on it separately so that if no one has any objections to this motion okay. for the water safety police street sewer garbage and mft to the city treasurer for further refinement okay i have second. that motion second by alderman heberling discussion or comments hearing that all those in favor Aye. Aye. against motion passes <clears throat> I would like to make a motion to forward the FY 2013-2014 fire budget to the city treasurer for further refinement with the cost for the ladder truck removed from the budget but included in the appropriation ord ordinance which is the city's legal spending limit. Second. Okay. Second by Alderman Heberling. Discussion or comment on this? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. A motion to forward the FY 2013-2014 Health and Safety, Fire, and Police Commission Audit and ESDA FY 13-2014 budgets to the City Treasurer for further refinement. Okay. You got a second on that? Second. Second Alderman Voda. Discussion or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against? That motion passes. And then according with looking at the uh, bills for tonight, uh, just to give you a little brief, um, Fuel for all the departments was $19,148.45. Street department, uh, street lights was $5,907.80. Salt was $6,785.73. Water <coughs> department, hydrants and couplings, $6,735. Water utilities, $3,027.60. Water chemicals, 11,495.76. Sewer department maintenance on pumps, 12,210.51. Cemetery department for a new moor, 6,488.10. Unique temporary help for all departments, $3,269.94. Past attorney fees, $2,1116.60. Engineering fees from Green and Bad Bradford, Bradford for sewer phase three, City Park, eleven thousand two hundred and thirty oh nine. Insurance, <coughs> unemployment, four thousand eight hundred and eighty six. Workman's comp, twenty three thousand seven hundred and eighty seven dollars for a total <coughs> of one hundred and seventeen thousand eighty eight dollars and fifty eight cents. That's a big chunk of the what the bills are tonight. Okay. Breaking them down. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Keep that in mind, and when we uh, get to motion to approve and ratify payment of the bills, you know we've already covered that. So, Good. the other thing I did miss that I'd like to do now is uh, Mike Cruz. If you'd step forward, I'll have uh, city clerk swear you in okay. as the acting fire chief. Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of Acting Fire Chief to which you were appointed according to the best of your ability? Sure. Sorry about that, Mike, but Ernie's pressured me so much, I just skipped it. <laughs> Moving on to Ordinance Committee. Ordinance Committee? Yes, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for everybody to finish filing out. <laughs> uh, out of the two meetings that we had, we had one motion, and that was a motion to forward proposed. FY 2013-2014 HBO budget to the Finance Committee. I'd like to make that motion. Okay. Second. Second by Alderman Boda. Discussion or comment? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against? The motion passes. <laughs> Moving on to Street and Sewer Committee. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, motion to approve the request of the Outfit Club to solicit funds at the corner of West Main Cross and Webster Street for Flag Day on June the 14th to help support the <laughs> annual fireworks celebration. Second. Second by Alderman Bertle. Discussion or comment? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? Motion passes. 
Motion to approve the request of the tree board chairman, Ron DeCraft, to attend the ecology and practice of establishing Native Oak Seminar on the October the 16th in Petersburg at a cost of $125. Second. Second. Wellman Brutal. Discussion or comment? Hearing none, roll call. Bruce Jones. Yes. Ray Coons. Yes. Martin Voda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Larry Budd. Yes. Sean Bertle. Yes. Ernie Gortinez. Yes. Rob Keverly. Yes. Motion passes 8 to 0. Motion to approve the minutes of the April 16, 2013 tree board meeting. Okay. Second, second on that. Second by Alderman Voda. Discussion or comment? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? Motion passes. The last motion is a motion to approve the landscaping around the municipal building at a cost not to exceed $1,500 using proceeds from one month of the video gaming proceeds. I'd like to make that with a motion with a comment. Okay. Second. There's a second by Alderman Coons. Go ahead with the comment. Alderman Walters. Right. Thank you, Your Honor. I certainly do appreciate you gentlemen having uh, uh, the, the confidence in me to go ahead and go with this project. I would ask that you please look at some of the improvements that I've made out there. I'm not done yet. And I'd like to thank Superintendent Wiseman for allowing me to use uh, two of his uh, summer college uh, uh, young men to help me with this. I've got one more day to spend on that. I think I'll have the entire project done uh, for your peruse and uh, let me know what you think of it. Thanks again. Alderman Bertle. I didn't know if there was anybody that wanted to include the city mayor on that. To, uh, Sick, he's allergic. Some, oh, to give some assistance with labor on the I'm looking for all the help I can get out there. <laughs> yeah. All the good. Ray should be yeah, a favorite. Public facilities, I want to thank all of them, Walters for what he's done out there. And uh, I know that's a thing that he said he loves doing. He's done a good job at it. And uh, I've been by there and, and I haven't seen him once fall asleep. So. Good, <laughs> good. <coughs> right. Any other comments? Hearing none, uh, roll call. Ray Coons. Yes. Martin Boda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Larry Budd. Yes. Sean Bertle. Yes. Ernie Dorchinez. Yes. Rob Keverly. Yes. Bruce Jones. <coughs> yes. Motion passes 8 to 0. Brings us to Emergency Services Committee. Thank you, Your Honor. We had two motions come out of Emergency Services. The first one was motion to allow Police Chief Herb <coughs> to order five vests for the Police Department at a cost of $3,918.50 from Ray O'Hearn. O'Hearn? O'Hearn. O'Hearn. Yeah. Court ready, I'd like to make that in the form of motion. Second. Second, Alderman Hebling. Discussion or comment? Hearing none, roll call. Martin Voda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Larry Budd. Yes. Sean Bertle. Yes. Ernie Dorchinez. Yes. Rob Keverly. Yes. Bruce Jones. Yes. Ray Coots. Yes. Motion passes 8 to 0. Second motion was, the motion was to allow Police Chief Herb Street to proceed with applying for the 2013 COPS hiring grant application. I'd like to make that in the form of motion. Okay, good. Second, second on that. Second by. Alderman Heberling. Discussion or comments? Hearing none, roll call. Earl Walters? Yes. Larry Budd? Yes. Sean Bertle? Yes. Ray Dorchinez? Yes. Rob Heberling? Yes. Bruce Jones? Yes. Ray Coons? Yes. Martin Voda? Yes. Motion passes 8 to 0. Moving on to Water Environmental Committee. <clears throat> Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, there's one motion come out of the Water Environmental Committee meeting, and I'll make a motion to allow uh, Water Superintendent Spiegel to spend up to $10,000 for laboratory fees with whomever he chooses. And uh, after a second, I got a comment. Pick me, pick me. <laughs> okay. I'll second that, Charlie. It's the second, Alderman Walters. Go ahead <laughs> with your comment, Alderman Dorchinez. I missed one meeting, and everybody forgets how the omnibus vote works. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's all these me, motions that were routinely answer. voted yes, no debate, hardly any comments. Okay. So yeah, I only had one motion, so I couldn't use it tonight. I want to refresh you guys to, uh, would you please, be, between now and the next meeting, refresh your memory, go back and look and, and see what we've done in the past with the omnibus vote. Just clean this one. Larry, up. I'll visit with you afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any other comments? Hearing none, roll call. Larry Budd. Yes. John Bertle. Yes. Ernie Dorchinez. Yes. Rob Keverly. Yes. Bruce Jones. Yes. Ray Coons. Yes. Martin Boda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Motion passes 8 to 0. Okay, lastly, we have a motion to approve and ratify payment of bills in the amount of $180,317.57. So moved. Second, bud. Second by Alderman Walters. Discussion or comments? Hearing none, roll call. John Bertle. Yes. Ernie Dorchinez. Yes. Rob Hammerly. Yes. Bruce Jones. Yes. Ray Coots. Yes. Mark Boda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Larry Bud. Yes. Motion passes 8 to 0. Okay, per Public Act 96-1473, this portion of the City Council meeting is reserved for any city resident wishing to address the Council on issues that are relevant to the Council. Would anyone like to address the Council? All right, seeing no one out there, I would entertain a motion to adjourn this meeting.
So moved. Second. Alderman Heberlein, second by Alderman Voda. Discussion or comment? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. Meeting adjourned 7.40 p.m.